Fairbanks, Alaska has an abundance of natural resources, but for some locals, the real treasures lie at their neighborhood transfer sites. Referred to as the mall or the dump store, the transfer sites are places where residents deposit their garbage and waste receptacles and also have the option of leaving items of value in designated reuse areas for others to pick up and take home. The reuse platforms were installed about a decade ago and have since evolved into a unique do-it-yourself recycling center that appeals to thrifty and resourceful Alaskans in all walks of life. Let's take a look at some of these landfill warriors. Say hello to Dick Flaherty and Doug Buchanan, avid collectors of rare and unusual objects. Craig Buchanan, who turns his finds into assemblage works of art. And meet Jeff Rogers and his son Oliver. Jeff is a geologist by day who managed to build an addition onto his home using salvage materials. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Okay, nice thing about mall time. Full money back guarantee, no questions asked. <laughs> 24 hours a day. Yep. Oh, 24 yeah. 24 hours a day. <laughs> Seven days a week. I did not recognize that until you just said it. And from oh, yeah. now on, I'm using the 24 hours a day. 365 time. days a year. And then this here, my pride and joy my sign of Tanana and Salcha. When I was a student here at the University of Alaska, I graduated in 1983 in wildlife management. This was at the site of the Tanana and Salcha avenues up here on West Ridge, and they were making changes. I found this sign in the dumpster. And if that bird don't sing, if that sun don't shine, and if that diamond ring doesn't end up mine, after we get through, when it all goes down, we can say we knew the wheels are turned around. We can take the wheel, ride it into town. We can say we do the wheels go round, the wheels go round and round. My best and worst gift from the gods has oh, yeah. a shoulder-mounted rocket launcher stolen oh. from your government, oh. thrown out in the dumpster. I found it. You know, like, shoot, not so, RPGs, shoot like, boom. I had it. I called up my friend John. He said, ah, oh, yeah, so-and-so, what's his name, Mark's friend. Yeah, Stan. 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 Stan this, wants this, this was a rocket launcher a rock in perfect condition. Just needed a rocket. Uh, this this pile of bricks. Oh, yeah, it's. Been using some yeah. For the foundation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, and e eventually that'll be the the foundation for a garage. Hopefully. Hopefully, right? But um, yeah, I, I never pass up the opportunity to grab a brick. And. Um, that's another thing I keep in mind when I'm collecting things. You know, I'll have some a project in mind, some kind of goal for the future, and, and you think, well, if I'm going to build a garage, I need 200 bricks. Well, if you're patient and you don't mind waiting a terrible long time, Fine, you can you can collect a brick here or a brick there, and you know, after a while, you you've got 200 bricks. Yeah. You got all the bricks you need. Like in the dumpster diver world, and those only at the top end, uh, this is, we're talking about the professionals and the people who are just under the professional level, but very studious and knowledgeable. Like uh, Richard Flaherty. He is studious and knowledgeable. I am not, but I observe him and I learn a lot from him. One of the concepts in dumpster diving is you may find a very nice item that you don't know what to do with, but you're sure that you can come up with a good use. But half the time you would say, well, you know, you know, you don't pick it up. But if this very same item comes in multiple numbers, 
And if there's so. 17 of these, <coughs> you immediately right. take them. You think, yeah. you know, I yeah. might yeah. be Probably able to if you don't soon, find use for this. So. And there's 17 of them. How many were there today? 17 of them. Oh, this is just one of 17? What? You wanted me to bring in a whole pile of these? Uh -huh. Every once in a while, yeah, like I got something to throw up there today, so when I got something that's not as totally trash to take it up there. Mm -hmm. And do you ever, like, scout that it out for stuff? No. Mm -hmm. Not at all. Alright. About 90% of the objects that you see here on the outhouse are from my own private collection. I'm a found object artist or an assemblage artist. I make uh, artworks. Uh, out of everything I can find, pretty much. And this was a real specific thematic request about uh, the interior of Alaska itself. So, let me open the door so you can get a little more uh, sight into what's here.